guys and welcome to my channel um, in today's video I will take you along in cleaning up my pantry I will be I have the organization system in place but it doesn't seem to be working as you can see the mess behind me but I will be uh, cleaning it out and reorganizing it and I wanted to take you along for it so come along
done and I'm very happy with the way I organized it. It wasn't as bad. It wasn't as dirty or messy as I thought it was going to be. So let me give you a bit of an overview of what what's where. So over here I need to print a new one of these, but it's just tells us when our electricity expensive and cheap and I've had it for a long time so I'm just wondering if they have one online that I can print off this is um it's a little crooked <laughs> so this is the chores list for my kids and I keep it in here in case if miraculously they have lapse in memory and can remember what they have to do each day so the hard copies here, uh, I mean the printed copies here, I also have a, I think it's a hard copy on my computer. And I know it kind of looks like it's a lot for every day, but I don't know if you ever saw my video, I posted back in September or end of August on how I um, create chores for my kids. So um, pretty much just to, to give you a quick glimpse so you don't think I'm like the worst mom in the world. So morning has like clean your breakfast dishes, make your bed, brush your teeth. Cause you know, I don't really have to remind them to brush their teeth anymore, but and tidy up your room. And then after school, clean your lunch dishes, clean your dinner dishes, help with dinner cleanup. And then each of them has um, specific chores that they do each day and they alternate so if one if whoever's vacuuming the other person is emptying the dryer in a dishwasher and they alternate but I also have things like put away your coats clean up uh, or the, your dirty, dirty laundry put it in the hamper um, and then you know put away your dance bag whatever so those are things that are necess not necessarily chores in my opinion they're more like things you should be doing but sometimes you know they forget what they're supposed to be doing because things happen in their lives and they have lapse of memory so this is here to remind them as well as me who's doing what each day so anyways moving on to my pantry so over here i have my weekly planner which i write down breakfasts and dinners for which i have to redo for this week and up here so breakfast bread and snack spices sweeteners nuts and other things and then flour and popcorn for popping so up here we've got cereal we eat very minimal cereal, so um, I usually buy one big bag of cereal, the organic kind, and it lasts us a while. Cereal, we just use it for like, you know, quick, we're out, make your own breakfast type of thing. My kids are just so you know, 15 and 16. Uh, pancake mix. Now this is new. It's empty right now because I have to buy the ingredients. But I've talked. I'm going. So what I'm doing for this one is because I'm trying to encourage my kids to maybe cook more. They cook some stuff, but it's very minimal because I do make everything from scratch. So sometimes it's hard for them to quickly prepare things. For themselves so what I'm thinking about doing here actually what I will be doing here I'm not thinking about it is I'm going to make a pancake mix so I'm gonna mix all the dry ingredients in there and then on the side I'm gonna write all the wet ingredients that they have ingredients that they have to add to the dry ingredients to make the pancakes I think that makes sense I'll show you guys either on Instagram or maybe even here once I do that and if any of you would like to for me to for you to see the recipe for my pancakes it is on my blog and then over here are my uh, steel cut oats that we eat quite a bit then I've got granola which I this is store-bought but I am thinking I'm gonna make my own pumpkin seeds cream of wheat sunflower seeds this is the pb2 peanut butter powder and coffee and then back here i've got walnuts oat bran and psyllium husk a lot of that stuff my husband uses so over here 
I have bread, which is uh, for mostly daycare and um, my kids' lunches. So as you can see, I need to go get some more. And this is coconut oil, uh, coconut, um, the downfall of not having a clean pantry. We needed coconut for milk for our recipe because we'll be making green curry. And so my husband went and got three cans and then I found three more in the pantry. So this is why we have this, this many. So once he's done preparing that dish, I will take the rest of it that he doesn't use and put it in my walk-in pantry that's in my mudroom. Almonds, pretty much the only chips that I buy is the corn tortilla chips and it's empty now so I will uh, put that in there and then our dark chocolates over here. Then in here we've got spices. I know that this is a lot for some people but we pretty much use the, all of these spices on a weekly basis. And then over here, I have all my mixes, like Italian seasoning, ranch seasoning, Cajun seasoning, taco seasoning. And um, I'm thinking I might go buy jars for these, but we'll see. And then over here, I have so sweeteners. I've got stevia, sugar, xylitol, honey. And then I have molasses, which I just use for baking. This really could go into my other pantry because it doesn't get used very often. And then I have cream of tartar here and allspice, as well as one of these beef cubes. I have no idea why we bought this. Then I got dried dates, the dried dates because I needed them for a recipe. I actually put all the garlic, loose garlic in this bowl. I think Dollarama sells garlic keeper, so I might go get that to put my garlic in. And then just odds and ends like cornstarch. This is zantan gum, um, bee pollen, cinnamon, cinnamon sticks, sesame seed. This is pumpkin spice, wheat berries, caraway uh, seed, for making sausages and cornmeal, dark chocolate, dark chocolate powder, cocoa powder, coconut, and the cacao nibs are here. And then I have balsamic vinegar and red wine vinegar for salads. And then down here, I have the vital wheat gluten, which I have some here and then extra here. Popping corn, because I have a popcorn machine to pop popcorn. We don't do microwave popcorn. Coconut flour, flaxseed, almond flour, whole wheat flour, and regular flour. I usually buy the unbleached white flour. So that's about it for my pantry. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. And until next time, have a wonderful day and happy organizing.